Welcome guys to part two of this setup series where I put together my gaming bed setup. So as you can see I'm taking off the wire molding for my monitor and I'm also going to be taking off the monitor here in just a bit and mounting a brand new monitor. Testing, testing, testing. This is a first for me, a bed unboxing. <laughs> Let's unbox this on the bed. <laughs> This is probably a really stupid idea because of the ESD on the bed, but I don't care at this point. I just want to get this over with so bad. So, oh boy, this is very unorthodox as you can tell. It's just, oh, I'm a rebel, I guess. Bye bye box. Hello, lovely monitor. So, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this power cable because it's got a brick, which might be a problem with the channel. So, we do not need the mount, but I'm gonna keep it otherwise. So, here's the power cable, and we have a display port cable. Get rid of the styrofoam. Here we go. The monitor. Okay, that's right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ooh, this is fun. It's fun to break the rules every now and then. I shouldn't be doing this on my bed, but I am. Look at that. So, three year warranty. That's a pretty good time, I would say. Most things come with a one year warranty, so that's nice. What I gotta do now is get this off by just sliding this right here, and it should come off just like that. And thankfully my sheets are clean, so it shouldn't be really scratching up the screen or smudging it. Still looks really good. So now this is the fun part where I get to mount the monitor. I did the time lapse of it because I was chattering a lot. I just wanted to get this over with. So the HDMI does up to 144 hertz and display port does up to 165 on this monitor, which I'm totally fine with. I don't really care about that. What I care about the most and why I bought this monitor is the color accuracy. I noticed that between playing on my computer here and on, oh, it's working great. And playing on the old monitor, the color was way off on the old monitor and it wasn't, it was because the old monitor was a VA panel and VA is not the most color accurate. This is an IPS panel, which is also HDR certified. So I love that and it's a lot better um, than the old one and it's also higher uh, pixels. It has more pixels. It's 1440p versus 1080p So that's why I went with this. I have something else to unbox for you guys One more thing and then this setup will be complete. Now. I know I cheaped out on this part Amazon basic speakers But they had great reviews and I've bought them in the past and they still work to this day They just don't sound the best but that, I'm not really going for the best sound because it would be really hard to do on this kind of setup. I'd like, I wanted to get a sound bar that hangs from the monitor, but I could not figure out how to get it to hang below the monitor without taping it to the monitor. <laughs> it's just so ghetto. Not, not what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to zip tie these speakers to the mounting bracket. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna have to wipe off my bed now because I've got dust on it from these boxes. That's okay though. I don't care. And these speakers do look better than the last ones I bought. They are bigger and nicer. I, the last ones I bought were back in 2016. So that's been a long time. I bet you they've improved. I hope they have. So get rid of the box there. These cables are a lot nicer than the last ones I bought. That's for sure, they're a lot thicker. 
Now, this was the very fun part. I had to somehow zip tie the speakers on the mount, and my problem is I kept having trouble trying to hold them in place while I was zip tying them. So it was it was a big pain, and I ended up finding out a way. So what I did is I got three zip ties, and I wrapped them around the mount, and then I tied them together and pulled on it, and then basically put the speakers in the middle and then tightened it even more, and I was able to get it to work that way. And I had fun doing that. And as you can see, that's what I did. All right, as you can see, I've got both the speakers mounted around the mount. And one of them's on the left side of the computer, which I don't really care. The computer can take the weight. But the power supply for the monitor, the power brick is on the right side. I had to move it because it was in the way of the USB cable for the speakers. So yeah, now it's time to get the raceway put on, or that's what I call it. It's actually a cable mold, but I call it a raceway. All right, so I'm gonna play some music on the new speakers. I need to change the source. Let's see how loud these things get. I'm gonna blast it. Absolutely gonna blast it. And we're gonna turn it up even more. sound better than the old ones, that's for sure. They're able to take the max volume better. They're not, they're not distorting like the old ones would. Yeah, they sound really good. I know it can't compare to the speakers in my main setup. They don't even compete, but better than nothing. Using the speakers in these monitors are crap. They just sound terrible, and they're not really that loud either. Very tinny, very quiet. So that's why I went with these basic speakers. I think I paid like $21 for them with tax, something like that which is a little bit more expensive than the last time I paid for them back in 2016. I believe they were $11 in 2016 without tax. So that would equate to about $15, $16 back then. So, But these are definitely higher quality. The sound isn't distorting with it. With VL, VLC is at 125% and Windows is maxed out. And I'm not hearing any distorting in the audio like I was in the old ones. The old ones would distort really easily. This is already a better buy than the old ones. But yeah, everything is a little bit smaller on the screen now, which is gonna kind of suck for me, but I'd rather have that. I'd rather have this monitor match the resolution of the monitors on my setup so that it's not messing with all the icons on my desktop, 
which it doesn't. It's just only when I'm using Parsec, it will rearrange the icons if this is like a 1080p display and the one over on my main desktop is like 1440p. But when you disconnect, they go back to the way they were, which is nice. But it's still annoying when I'm trying to use them on this screen because then they're all jumbled. So it, it will be nice to run them all at the same resolution. And also the color accuracy should be a lot better now. And the brightness is definitely better. And the colors are deeper as well, I can definitely tell. Ooh. Sleepy time, Nate. This is where I am playing Flight Sim on my new gaming setup, and I start to slowly doze off, and as you'll see towards the end of this clip, I actually start to fall asleep, and then unfortunately I hear a loud noise in the basement, and then I realize my mom's in my doorway, and she's like, what are you doing, Nate? And I'm like, oh, just relaxing. All right, time for some behind the scenes action. So what I did is I took my security footage from my bedroom and combined all the times where I was working on the gaming bed setup for you guys to enjoy as a time lapse. So this is all the work I did and this is what it looks like whenever I'm doing camera work from a different angle. Basically, <laughs> from another camera you get to see what I do and how I approached this project. And by the way, I just winged this entire project. I did not really plan it out all that much other than I knew I wanted to do this and I had it in my head so I executed on it and I actually did execute on it pretty well. And as you can see, the setup turned out really well.
All right, that's it for this two-part series, guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch both videos. I will probably do a third part if I ever plan on upgrading that bed setup in the future. I actually did start to fall asleep a little bit there while this camera was recording me and my security camera, which I'm downloading the footage for right now. So I'm a little bit sleepy still. It's been a long week. <laughs> um, but consider leaving a like or dislike and tell me how you did how I did and what I need to improve on. I'm trying to keep the edit pretty simple in this video so that it's not annoying and too flashy. But uh, I also have donate links down in the description below and on my channel banner page, on my main page. And if you want to contribute to my channel or donate, you don't have to, I'm not asking you to, but if you want to contribute to help make this channel better, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. So I have more videos planned for the future and I have a new channel called Flight Sim Clips and I have it linked to my channel banner on the home page of my channel. So you can go check that out. I'm gonna be doing long and short form Flight Sim Clips on there, just like this is the title of the channel says. So go and check that out. I've already got three videos on there. I've got more videos already recorded for that channel. I just have to edit them and post them. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this content and I look forward to seeing you all later on new videos. Take care and bye for now.